Hello and welcome to Travel Beans. I'm Emma, behind the camera is Alex, and today we're gonna to show you why you need to visit the German Alps. Good morning guys and welcome to our final day of the Romantic Road. This is yeah. our last day. It's not our last day of the trip, but it's our last day on the Romantic Road. We're going to make some German breakfast this morning. Well, I say German breakfast, but actually it's just going to be probably like a German-English fusion. Well, we found some ingredients and we're turning it into a breakfast. I don't know if they eat it as a breakfast. <laughs> yeah, so there's um, some German sausages, of course, for Alex, but, and these eggs we actually bought when we were still in the UK, so it's like <laughs> British eggs, German sausages, um, Irish butter, <laughs> and um, kartoffel puffer, which is like basically little rosties made from potato. I think traditionally these are served with apple sauce. I can't believe how lucky we are to rock up to a place in a, such a beautiful surrounding like this and to get a space for the night. It's a Saturday in the middle of July. There is no way in normal times we'd be able to do this, but at the moment you can. So for 30 euros roughly we got a spot with electricity, we're near a lake, we're near the mountains. After we've eaten our very hearty breakfast we're going to make our way out into the mountains and do some trekking, hopefully see some amazing castles and we will say wow look at that, look how beautiful it is and other sort of generic <laughs> statements like that that you come to expect from travel vloggers. <laughs> look at this fusion, it basically feels like to me like hash browns, sausages, an egg, all I need to complete this is some British baked beans, which we do have in the back. We have in the back, but there's nowhere I can be bothered to make. Too lazy. I think these are Franconian sausages. So they work as a breakfast sausage? These sausages work at any time of day. <laughs> They're perfect. And then the kartoffel puffin. Oh god, it smells so good. It has to go with a bite of sausage. We're done. <laughs> We're done with all the food. In Germany we completed it. We decided to hire bikes today because it seems like the perfect way to see the Alps and to get to all of the hikes and the castles that were around. It's eight euros for the whole day or five euros for half a day and I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I'm a little bit scared because I don't think I've ridden a bike for years and Every time I ride one, when it's been such a long period of time, I feel like I've forgotten how to do it. There's literally a saying about that. I know, but I just, I, I've never felt super comfortable on a bike since I've been an adult, basically. As a kid, I used to love cycling everywhere, super confident. Now, I'm gonna fall flat on my face, aren't I? Safe to say, I haven't forgotten how to cycle. <laughs> I haven't fallen flat on my face yet. Actually, the cycle route from the campsite to the castle so far has been pretty easy. It's um, it's all very flat, so even though it's surrounded by these mountains, the area around it is actually really flat. So it's quite a nice, easy cycle. Also, the temperature is perfect today. It must be what, like 24, 25 degrees, sunny, light breeze. I don't think I could have chosen a better day. It is extremely quiet. There are a few other cyclists on the paths, but really not that many. I don't know if that's because of COVID or just because it's a quiet place to be. I'm guessing it's COVID. I was a little bit concerned that we would get lost, um, but the cycle routes are all very clearly signposted. If 
you come here, it's very likely you're going to park your bike or your car in Chvangau. Once you're here, you then have to walk up to the castles, uh, or you can actually take a horse and cart, which conjures up images of very romantic, iconic ideas of clip popping up to the top of the castle in a very Disney-esque style. Um, but when you see the kind of like traffic jams of people, cars and horses, it kind of loses its appeal a little bit. I want to show you a little bit of the reality of here. Uh, it is really, really nice. Like really, really nice. The stunning. nature is stunning. As you can see here, there's a there's a lake which was a very beautiful surprise for us, and it is ridiculous. And it's very easy to make this look picturesque and idyllic. But I also just wanted to show you that there is actually quite a lot of people here. Here, it doesn't actually look so bad. There's not so many people, but just a, a little bit further back before we got here, it was like you had to wear a mask outside, didn't you? Yeah, we've so been wearing bad. masks here because, like, for example, I was sitting down while I waited for Emma to come out of the bathroom, and someone decided, even though there was lots of places to sit, to sit right next to me, like touching me, uh, maybe a little bit angry. Maybe that's why I'm complaining <laughs> so much right now. <laughs> that said, like, the reality of this place is like unbelievable. The nature is top notch, ten out of ten, and kind of like any of these places usually if you start walking away a little bit from the main area it should get pretty sparse very quickly so that's what we're going to go and do now. Chvangau is the second to last stop on the romantic road south and an incredible place for nature lovers. Surrounded by the impressive Bavarian Alps covered in lush green forest and crystal clear lakes. to one of the most famous sites in all of Germany, Neuschwanstein Castle, built by King Ludwig II, who was also known as the Swan King or Fairy Tale King. This castle receives over 1.3 million visitors each year and is said to have been the inspiration for Walt Disney's Magic Kingdom. I'm going to say something controversial, and I know I always say a lot of controversial things, but this is one that I think is going to be, it's going to get me some hate, and I kind of don't want to say it. <laughs> so I've got like, do I tell the truth? My opinion being the truth. <laughs> or, or do I say what people want to hear? The okay, truth. ready? It's rubbish. It's, it, honestly, like, like, okay, the nature, unbelievable, but it's so underwhelming. I, I feel embarrassed to say this, from afar, pretty nice. Up close, it looks something like it's built so recently, kind of like in like a movie set kind of way, like in the like, like low quality mm. material. And like it's a new build. so <laughs> new. Yeah, it's just, it just doesn't really fit. The nature is incredible. Like that's why this is so amazing. Like it's almost close to tacky. <laughs> but it's, not, it's not tacky, but close. And I've only ever heard positive, like overwhelming positives to this castle. So I thought that's what it was gonna be like. And that's why I feel so bad saying it. But, here's the truth guys, <laughs> don't come. <laughs> I just want to now say that I feel validated and I don't care if you've got a problem with my negativity because someone just came up to us who was also another YouTuber. They saw us talking to the camera and turns out they have a history channel and they're coming to see all of the castles in Germany and he couldn't be more underwhelmed by this castle. He said it's kitsch, it's not that nice. And in turn, that means I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> Something interesting that our new YouTuber history friend told us about King Ludwig, which is the guy who built this castle, he basically made it a rule that everyone in the army had to learn an instrument and he had this plan to replace all the weapons with instruments. <laughs> I think he was called like the Mad King and the Fairy Tale King. So yeah, well, you sense. can see where he gets his name from. And it looks so good from afar. <laughs> it does, just not up close. <laughs> ridiculously clear is this water. I could drink that. I mean, I won't because I saw some people swimming in it earlier. <laughs> but you could. It looks, well, I mean, to be fair, all the photos you see is all like clear blue 
amazing water in the Alps. But when you get here, you don't actually expect it to look like that. You expect to see like crisp packets floating around and like bits of shit here and there. But no, it's brilliant. Now look at like that color just over there. Is like the perfect, that's my favorite color of water. <laughs> because it's time to eat. <laughs> it's my favorite time of day. Um, <laughs> so, so your reset button. You just get angrier and angrier until you've eaten and brilliant. then back to normal. Brilliant. We've come to a beer garden after our day of hiking and I am really excited to be trying some traditional beer garden fare here in Germany. The food that I have chosen is called Urbatze, which is a traditional Bavarian food that is served in beer gardens. And it's essentially two thirds soft cheese, um, usually camembert or something similar, mixed with butter and some spices and herbs to give it a bit more flavor. And it's usually served with bread or a pretzel, which is what I've got today. This is the first time I've ever tried anything like this. And actually, this is my first pretzel I've had in Germany. Mm. And I bloody love a good pretzel. You do. <laughs> <laughs> so excited, I'm throwing it on myself. We're situated right next to a main road as well. <laughs> nice and loud. <laughs> okay, let's tuck into this healthy treat. Firstly, the pretzel is awesome. It, it reminds me a little bit of a bagel, but with a softer inside. So you've got like this kind of hard, salty outside and inside like really soft, fluffy bread. The cheese paste, to be honest, it tastes like cream cheese like flavored cream cheese but it's really good and actually after a day of hiking it's really satisfying to have something that's just like salty and savory <laughs> salty and satisfying this is the man staring so i'm just filming him hello <laughs> <laughs> hello mr man <laughs> honestly the thing i love best about traveling in europe is the bread and the cheese which is really similar to me but i just love oh. the sausage and chips <laughs> <laughs> Quick review of my curry worst. Chips, always classic. Sausage, trying its best to be a frankfurt. Probably not my favourite. The curry worst <laughs> sauce is lovely. site is actually located on a lake and so we've come down here for sunset to enjoy it and it's bloody beautiful it's so serene and still oh. and then you've got these moody clouds reflecting on the water like it's like a mirror like we just put the drone up we thought the drone was actually broken because it looked like it wasn't moving but the lake is just that still we cannot recommend highly enough to come to Bavaria oh, and to come to this area. It's a beautiful part of the world. Everyone's so nice here as well. Like we've had nothing but kind people everywhere we've turned. Good beer, good wine. Good sausages. Average castle. Average castles, yeah. But yep. you could disagree with us. That's completely <laughs> fine. But be civil, be civil in the comments. <laughs> And absolutely ridiculously nice scenery and nature. I mean, the the castles I'll give a little bit of like a nudge upward just because they're surrounded by such incredible nature. Like, oh, breathtaking. But that is it for another video with the travel beans. So if That's you enjoyed night. the video, <laughs> give it a thumbs up. Press the subscribe button, the bell button. Any other buttons? Comment button. Tell us what's the most underwhelming travel experience you've had Ooh. that you were looking forward to. Interesting. Was it this castle? <laughs> <laughs> and nothing else left to say apart from to push oh. Emma out of the way and say thank you very much for watching. See you next time and beans out! Next time on Travel Beans. So a lot of you watching probably don't know the proposal story and I'm sure you're dying to know the romantic proposal story. <laughs> it was as romantic <laughs> as you could imagine coming from me. <laughs> Okay, well first of all, 